Hey guys, in this Spage AR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can attach an image or a graphic to your face so it follows your head movement. So let's go! Hey again, the first thing we will do here is to import our texture we want to use for this filter. For this, we go to the left hand side to our assets panel. Here, we click on import, then, we search for our picture we want to use, select it, and click on open. After we have imported our texture, please make sure that you select the texture in the assets panel, go to the right hand side and here at the compression panel and set all the three compressions to none. So that makes it possible to have the best quality output. The next thing is of course to create a face tracker object in our scene. For this we go again to the left hand side, then Go to the scene panel, click on this little plus and here we search for face tracker. Then we select the face tracker and click on insert. The next step is to create a plane object. For this we go again to the scene object, click on the plus and here we search for plane. After we have done this we can see a plane in the middle here of our screen. But we want this plane to move with our head movement. For this we go to the scene panel and then select the plane object and then we drag and drop the plane object into our face tracker. So then there should be a little arrow next to the face tracker and we can open and close it and when we open it we see that the plane is inside of the face tracker and also here when we see in at our viewport the plane is moving with our head movement. So we are almost done. The next step is that we want to have the um, yeah, picture here instead of the placeholder. For this we have to create a material for our plane. So we go to our assets panel again, click on the plus and here we select material. So after the material is created I will just rename it to picture. So then we select our material, go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat so the colors will have the right output. Then go down to diffuse and here at texture um, click here and then select the picture texture. After we have done this there is no change because we have to say to Sparge AR that we want to use this material we have just created for this plane. For this we go to our scene select our plane object, then we go to the right hand side and here we can see materials. Then next to materials there is a plus, click on it and here select the picture material. And after we have done this we can now see that here um, yeah, our plane has turned to our graphic. Now I will show you how you can scale and reposition this object that it is not in the middle of your face. I mean when you want it as a mask like this cat head is yeah nice to use for this we can just scale this plane up so we select the plane go to the right hand side to the transformation properties and now I can set the scale for example to 3 and now I have this yeah cat head in front of my Face. But if you don't want this, I will just set the scale back to 1 and then I want to move this up a little bit so then I have to change the Y position here at the transformation. So for example, here I can set the position to 0 0.12. Here you have to work with really um, yeah, little numbers because yeah, this is how the coordinate system of yes, Page AR works. And this was all the magic behind how you can make a picture following your head movement here in Spage AR. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it so you yeah, don't miss my next videos. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.